YouTube, this is Michael Kazmierski Dunn, if you guys don't know who I am, and welcome to episode 42 of the Blind Piper Reacts series. So, today's a special day, because one of, um, and if you guys are not familiar with this series, um, I'm going to send a playlist which will get you familiar with all the things that I keep talking about in this series, so don't worry if you are not familiar with anything. I put the link to the playlist in the description, so you're covered there. So, um, the coolest girl in the world who I've always been talking about, Haley, um, is a huge, huge fan of classical music. Um, certainly one of the biggest classical music fans that I personally know. Obviously, there are bigger fans of classical music in the world than her, but among the people I know, she's the biggest fan of classical music I know of. And one of her absolute favorite composers named Aaron Copeland, was born today, or November 14th, in 1900. And so I had the idea, um, because Haley's a big Copeland fan, a fan and um, has some Copeland pieces in her vocal repertoire, that it would be a good idea for me to react to Haley herself singing a Copeland piece, because those of you who are subscribed to my channel and not to Haley's channel, I'm pretty sure you honestly don't know, honestly have not heard Haley's singing voice before. And so I really feel like this would be the perfect opportunity to show you what Haley sounds like from a vocal perspective. So, um... I asked Haley what piece should I react to of like what piece of her singing should I react to? And she suggested I react to a song called Lori's Song, which is from Copeland's opera The Tenderland, which is a coming of age opera or grow uh, where you know um the uh one of the characters, Lori, um becomes basically you know becomes an adult and talks about um, graduating, I believe, high school. And so it's meant to be sung by, you know, a younger voice. And um, interestingly enough, Haley was not the first person I've ever heard to sing this piece. The first person I've heard to sing this piece was, and I don't know if she can be found on YouTube, so, um, but she does have a super amazing voice. Her name is Abby Hutchins, A-B-B-E-Y Hutchins. H U T C H I N S, I think. And um, the next singer I've heard singing this piece is Abby Linig, A B B Y L I N I G. Maybe it's Lindig, L I N D I G. Um, my, my screen reader says Linig, so it's hard to tell, but um, whatever. whatever. Um, and then Haley sent me back in January of this year, a version by Dawn Upshaw. And I really like Dawn Upshaw because she also has a great vibrato like all these other other singers, including Abby Linig and Abby Hutchins. So, um, without further ado, um, here we will have um, Haley singing Lori's song from Copeland's opera, Tenderland. And this was recorded this past April, and her voice teacher is playing the piano. And um, the recording itself is mono, and I hate mono, but you'll probably notice that there's certain points where her voice is a little bit closer and farther away to the microphone. Well, apparently, according to what she told me, um, this actually this piece also has some choreography, so you may hear her voice get louder and softer, locationally speaking. Um, so just to warn you about that. So um, here we go, Haley singing Laurie's song. just the sound real quick. Okay, here we go. 
Good luck, Haley. As the Italian Zamponia players would say, in bocca al lupo, which means put your um, eaten by a wolf. That's basically how they say break a leg. So, good luck, Haley. It starts in the middle. I can tell you're working on your vibrato, Haley, so I'd rather not comment on it because I know it's still developing. Pretty good. Tonally, you actually sound a lot like Denise Lee. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Denise Lee is one of my favorite singers in the world before she retired. <laughs> And uh, after this, I'm going to show you who Denise Lee sounds like, so you can tell that tonally, Haley sounds very similar. I can hear it get a little closer. vibrato on those long notes. It's pretty awesome. You guys can see why she's the coolest girl in the world, right? Well, maybe not. Why I think she's the coolest girl in the world is because I love people with perfect pitch. Because I'm so used to both... I have perfect pitch myself, and I'm so used to having a sister with perfect pitch that I feel like people with perfect pitch seem to understand me tons better than people without perfect pitch. Because Haley has perfect pitch, she seems to be like the. She keeps me entertained tons more than any other any other friend of mine in the world. Great, Haley. That was awesome. Um, sure, of course. Not even, not like Abby Linig or Abby Hutchins, but still. I mean, I really, I get it, you know? You know, I again, I'd rather not comment on something that you're still, you know, working on because, um, you know, I don't want to, you know, offend you or anything. Um, but you'll notice the, once I show you guys Denise Lee, and by the way, Denise does not sing, uh, this song, but once I show you Denise Lee, especially from like 2009 or so, 
um, you will definitely hear a very similar tonal resemblance to Haley. And um, she also sounds, Haley also sounds like another English opera singer. Her name was Emma Kirkby. And Emma does not sing any Copeland either, but um, I'm going to show you Denise from 2009. And um, apart from Denise's awesome, super hot vibrato, you'll probably hear a very similar tonal resemblance to Haley. So here's Denise. And again, this is not Copeland. Sorry about that. But just to show you from a tonal standpoint. What? Ah, okay. So this is Denise Lee from 2009. Hot vibrato as always. Well, it's Denise. Duh. Oh, good trill. But tonally, do you hear how she sounds like Haley? Maybe not just yet. That's her husband on the accordion. She seems to have that type of... I've actually learned this myself very recently. It's called Squillo, S-Q-U-I-L-L-O. It's the type of sound you have. Um, you have this strong resonant peak area from the 3,000 to 5,000 hertz range, and a lot of opera singers have that. And... Um, Haley seems to have Haley and Denise both seem to have that type of um, resonant quality in common with each other. But you can probably hear a very similar tonal resemblance. In fact, it's very, uh, apart from vibrato, it's very hard for me to tell a different, much of a difference between Haley and at least 2009 Denise Lee. And uh, the next one I'll show you is, is Emma Kirkby. I'll wait till this song is over. I'm sorry I'm doing two pieces that are not by Copeland, but I really wanted to highlight the tonal similarity of Haley because you guys haven't heard Haley, most of you guys haven't heard Haley's voice yet. So I think that piece is fin finished now. So let me see if I can find a good Emma Kirkby song. Um, this is a song that I actually sent to Haley last year when I was telling her that she finally has some hints of Emma Kirkby in her singing voice. So, um, let me f quick find that Emma Kirkby piece. And, uh, by the way, Denise was born in about 1970 or so, and Emma Kirkby was born in about 1949, so quite a big age difference, but still, the quality of their singing voice is still very, very similar to Haley. Okay, here we go. Again, this is a totally different type of piece, and this is not Copeland, and I apologize, but just listen to the tonal quality of Emma Kirkby's voice, and you'll definitely hear that Haley sounds very similar. Kind of a long instrumental introduction, and that's the only thing I don't like about these pieces, that it's a huge, 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 um, huge instrumental introduction to wait through. But if you guys loved Haley's voice, I certainly did. Um, it's pretty amazing. I think Emma's about to sing now.
I don't know if Emma has perfect pitch, but she seems to hit the notes perfectly dead on. I didn't want to go for too long, but that's Emma Kirkby's voice. So if you compare Haley and Denise Lee and Emma Kirkby back to back, I'm pretty sure you'll hear quite a bit of tonal resemblance to each other. And um, for clarity purposes, so that you can hear them in high quality, I'm actually going to al also put the links to those pieces in the description as well. So you'll hear, you'll hear, um, you'll see Haley's link. You'll see the link to Denise Lee and. 2009 Denise Lee, and you'll also see the link to that Emma Kirkby song that I that I told you about. So, um, yeah, that was Haley, and um, I think that's real. I I think you know that's just really impressive. And um, again, I know you're working on developing your voice, Haley. So I wouldn't go too far. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna go too far. Sorry. Um, kind of had a long day and kind of lost for words, but, um, but yeah, if you guys are new to this series, feel free to hit like and subscribe and comment all you want, and, um, I'm also going to put the link to the playlist, the whole playlist in the description so that you can find out what sort of thing a blind, um, a blind piper like me has been reacting to, um, before this episode, and if you'd like to stay tuned for more um, music you probably won't ever hear anywhere else, feel free to hit subscribe, and definitely comment all you want, and um, join me next time for episode 43 of the Blind Piper React series, whenever that's going to be, but until then, have a good day, and...